The Samtam Cultural Troupe with their performance of the butterfly folk dance called Chakung Nyinyi Nyichi. Ladies and gentlemen, next up performing for you, we have the Pilashi Cultural Troupe, Twensang Village, representing the Chang tribe of Nagaland. The Chang tribe believed that the entire human race emerged from the place called Changsang Mongko. This is considered as one of the oldest settlements for the Changs, and interestingly, many primeval stories of Chang Sang resemble to the Genesis in the book of Old Testament. Of all the festivals, Chang River, the Nak New Lum, since it is believed that the whole world was submerged in utter darkness for three days and three nights. The darkness was so intense that it was considered it was considered as Nakshu Naknu or mother of all darkness. At, At such a time, time when, when the people, people were striving to overcome the darkness, a man named Namo Molo happened to kill a two-tailed tiger amidst of darkness. At that instance, the entire darkness suddenly burst into daylight. Since then, to commemorate their victory from darkness to light, the forefathers at Jiangsang have been celebrating the Nak New Lum Festival to symbolize the defeat of darkness. Numerous rituals were, were carried out during, during this festival. festival. The indigenous games were also played as a part, part of this festival. festival. Young girls would play a game called Wait, with Sabonaria, which is a wild nut.
way, way is the, the game, game played, played by young girls on the, on the ground, ground while some other seniors play Joe Harp, which is called Conking as a competition during the festival. That was the traditional game. Wait. Wait. played by the Chang tribe of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, exiting the performing area is the Chang cultural troupe.
Next, Next up, up, we have, have the Kimungan Cultural Troupe. The performers are from Sanglao Cultural Club, Nokluk. They will perform a folk song called Chi Shang Yi. Chi Sang Yi is a song like voices made in a group while working in the field and on the way back home. the villagers start working in the field, everyone takes part in the Chi Shang Yi with the top of their voices energetically.
after they are done the sit back to eat and As the means of livelihood is all but to work in the field, this folk song is sung to boost one's energy and enthusiasm and also to encourage one another to work tirelessly as the means of livelihood.
after a long, hard day of work, as they head home, they take part in Chi Sangi until they reach their homes. Ladies and, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen exiting, exiting the performing, performing area, area, the, the Sun Club Cultural Club, Club Nong Club, Club, representing the, the Kimingan tribe of, of Nagaland. Nagaland. Performing, performing for you, you next, next, we have the Bandari Village Zechopen Cultural Club from Woka representing the Lothar tribe of Naglin. This morning, the Lothar cultural troupe will demonstrate an indigenous game called Tere Jumta. This, this traditional, traditional game is a show, show of strength, strength and stamina. stamina. A large hood is lifted by only the strong men folk of the village. This was a part of the training for the young men to become warriors.
this intention of carrying the large wooden post was to keep them strong and physically fit. As in the tradition of the Nagas, food and drinks are served to the young men. It was, it was important, important that the young men, men who are going, going to become, become warriors, warriors are physically fit and agile. They must be trained. Food and drinks also become a part of their diet. While the men folks train, it is usually the women who prepare the food and drinks. They would then help to serve the food to the young men. The training is usually led by an elder. After a hearty meal, 
the men folk are again ready to train. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tirha Ijumda is a traditional game played mostly by the menfolk of the Lothar tribe. This was to showcase their strength and stamina. It also helps them to build their physical and mental well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lota Cultural Troupe. Ladies and gentlemen, next up performing for you, we have the Pongkori village dance troupe, Peck, representing the Pottery tribe of Nagaland. They will perform for you a warrior's dance called Shakodo in the local dialect. This folk dance is performed to commemorate victory over enemies.
This folk dance, dance is performed only when there is victory in war and victory in safeguarding the land and its people. The warriors dressed in their full attires and weapons gather at the chief's house and dance around their chief.
this warrior dance is a, is a part, part of, of every warrior's brave act. over their enemies. This act also prepares them to face any further eventualities. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pongkori village dance troupe representing the Pottery tribe of Nagaland.
Dati is a traditional musical instrument commonly used by the Angami tribe of Nagaland. This traditional music instrument is made up of a dried gourd as the base and connected to its end is a long bamboo stick. A single string is then attached to it. A small circular opening is cut open in the gourd and usually the pig's bladder is stretched over the opening of the gourd to cover it. The tati is an instrument that is mostly used as an accompaniment to many of the songs of the Angami tribe of Naglin. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you next, we have the Konoma Youth Organization, Kohima, representing the Angami tribe of Naglin. This is a folk song called Tati Kwe. The translation of this song is as follows. While in distant land away, I contemplate the beauty of my homeland. 
It brings solace. It brightens my spirit. My yearning for you is never so great. Till I depart from you, the, la the land of my nativity, adorned with rivers and mountains, your magnificence surpasses human description. I recall the harvest time when the moon and the stars with rare brilliance shine, brightening our way as we carry the crops home, my beautiful homeland. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Konoma Youth Organization representing the Angami tribe of Nagaland with their performance of the Tati Kwe, a traditional folk song accompanied by a musical instrument. Ladies and gentlemen, next up performing for you, we have the Mining Hill Cultural Troupe, Pogpur Village, representing the Tikir tribe of Nagaland. They will perform for you a man folk dance called Tin Tsuyok Tin. The Tsin is performed by a group of male dancers who are invited by a well-to-do or rich person to dance at his residence when he organizes a feast of marriage for all the village.
This folk dance is accompanied by singing, humming, and yodeling.
done is also formed as a sign of reconciliation between adversaries amongst the villagers or with the neighboring villagers. The man folk dance called Tsin Tsiok Tsin from the Mining Hill Cultural Troop, Pokpur Village, Kifiri, representing the Tikir tribe of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very honored to have in our midst Padma Shri winner Prakash Patukon. He is accompanied by his lady wife and family members. For those who don't know Prakash Patukon, he, he is the legendary badminton player from India. He was the first Indian player. He was the first Indian player who won the All England Open Badminton Championship. A former world number one in 1980. He also backed the gold med medal in the 1979 Commonwealth Games. Ladies and gentlemen, he is also an Arjuna Awardee and Padma Shri Awardee, the fourth highest civilian award. The fourth highest civilian award in the country. On behalf of the government of Nagaland, the Nagaland Badminton Association, and the people of Nagaland, we warmly welcome you here at Kisama Heritage Village. Thank, Thank you. you. It is indeed an honor and pleasure to have you here at the 24th Hornbill Festival 2023. For the morning session, we have two more performances. The next performers are the Intimate Youth Cultural Club Henning Kungwa Peren, representing the Ziliang tribe of Naglin. This morning, they will be performing for you a traditional folk song called Gine Kepung. The Gine Kepung is a traditional celebration in honor of the bride who is about to get married. As you can see, the bridesmaid take the bride-to-be to collect vegetables from the forest.
the vegetables collected are then distributed to the elderly people and eminent personalities of the community as a form of respect Ladies and gentlemen, as a form of respect, eminent persons, personalities, and the elderly are given the vegetables. In turn, in a traditional way, the elderly or the eminent persons shower the bride to be with good wishes. This is a traditional way of celebrating the honor of getting married. The vegetables are distributed and in return the bride-to-be receives good wishes and benevolence in anticipation of a new life as a married woman. The Zillian Cultural, Cultural Troupe with the performance of the Guinea Kipung. The Guinea Kipung is a folk song and a traditional celebration in honor of the bride to be.
Ladies and gentlemen, the last performance for this morning, we have the Gyan Surang Forai, Shali Cultural Troupe, Kushabil Dimapur, representing the Kachari tribe of Nagaland. They will perform a folk dance called Nagurnai Musanai. Okay. Fishing is a very popular activity in the Mac Kachari village life. It is done by men and women alike, both young and old. The fishing equipments are mostly indigenously made using bamboo or cane. This particular dance depicts the women folk fishing in groups using jekai, which is a triangular shaped bamboo crate open at the front, and kobai, which is a small bamboo container to store the fishes. The women are full of fun and tend to forget all their words for a short while during fishing. And at the end of the day, they are happy with their catch, which will make a good meal for their families.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Nagurnai Musanai folk dance performed by the Gyansurang Forai Shali Cultural Troupe Kushabil Dimapur from the Kachari tribe of Nagaland. Cultural troops, Morombra Poitagiwi. Cultural troops, Morombra Poitagiwi. Ladies and gentlemen, we have few announcements. Firstly, the D Department of Youth Resources and Sports, Government of Nagaland, is organizing the Bamboo Stilt Race Competition here behind the main arena. This will be held on the main road. This bamboo stilt walking competition is open only for our esteemed tourists. So if you are interested, kindly register yourself. We also have another event happening here at the main arena. We have the blowing of the traditional horn competition here at the main arena. I repeat, the blowing of the traditional horn competition will be held here at the main arena. For those tourists who are interested in the bamboo stilt race competition, you are kindly requested to register yourself with the Department of Youth Resources and Sports. Cultural troops.